Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're rescuing a car. Well, basically rescuing it from myself. Nineteen eighty-five. My 1967 Ford Fairlane sitting outside my parents' house. It was a clean Virginia car with a trashed interior and Chevelle bucket seats, a 390 engine and a four-speed. A dream car for a 15-year-old kid such as myself. Over the next five years, I'd spend every dime that I had building the car up with a new paint job, a 351 Cleveland with a four-speed. The car would get a roll cage, a ladder bar rear suspension, turning it into a mid-11 second streetcar, but that wasn't good enough. By the late 90s, Pro Street was all the rage. With big tires, radical engines, and loud exhaust, everybody wanted one. I did too. Out came the small block and the small tires, and in went a 514 with an s and four-link rear suspension with 18 by 33 m &H street tires. With that Jericho 4-speed, it was an animal. But fast forward 20 years to today. The 514's gone. It's got four flat tires and an inch of dust, but it's still, to me, as cool as it was when I had it when I was a kid. All the cool 90s must-have speed parts are still with it, from the Barry Grant fuel regulator the Moroso cool can, the Jazz fiberglass bucket seats, the roll bar mounted switch panel, and the MSD 7AL2, along with the autometer gauges. Oil?
Today begins day one of its journey to get back on the street. It's always been a street car and I have raced it. But I never raced it with the big block, always with the small block. Some of you guys watching this channel may uh, remember this car. You're going to see it again.